so today I'm coming back at you with another writing video which I haven't made for like a month. I want to talk about something that I actually need right now and that is basically how to finally get to writing and how to just start and write. I'm like the most motivated for writing books that I've ever been but I still don't write pretty much at all and I'm like girl what the hell is wrong with you and I'm pretty sure that some of you might be struggling with this too so if you haven't been writing at all and you're like how do I actually get to writing this video is for you and let's get started so firstly that is something I don't have a problem with anymore but if you are not motivated right now and like in general because I know like the whole Yes, it's true that you shouldn't write only when you're motivated, but I mean, if you have been writing at all, motivation is definitely gonna help, for sure. And so, I think that what you need to do at first is just think about how freaking badly you want the books to exist. Because if you don't want it bad enough, there's no point in even pushing yourself to write because you're not gonna last because it's gonna bore you or just you're not actually gonna enjoy it and you actually have to enjoy it because otherwise you're never gonna write any books and so I definitely suggest to you to think about why you want to write the books and why you love it so much and just why do you want to write the book in the first place? Why does it matter to you, you know? Why do you actually want to push yourself into writing? What is it gonna bring you and all that stuff I absolutely adore all of my characters, I'm excited for all the books that I want to write, so I don't have a problem with this, but I definitely think it's gonna help, because then you're desperately gonna want to push yourself into writing it, all that, and actually, you know, you need to want it. That is step number one. Step number two is just start. Just do it and push yourself in it, no matter how disgusted you are, no matter how lazy you are, how tired you are, it doesn't matter, just push yourself into it, turn off your internet and turn off everything and just put that blank page in front of you and it doesn't matter if you have to stare at it for an hour, but just start. Do something, no matter if it's a piece of shit or not, just start writing. It doesn't have to be perfect in the slightest. It's definitely gonna be better to write a piece of shit than write nothing, trust me. And so just sit down and go for it because otherwise the book is never gonna exist and you know, you want it to exist and so you need to just sit down and get to it and just, you know, it's actually that easy. You need to think about the fact that this is in your hands completely. Like, you have time to watch this video, and so you have time to write at least something. And so, what are you still doing? Like, why are you still on YouTube and not writing your book, you know? And so just get to it, get your ass to your laptop or wherever you write, and just type something, no matter if it's a piece of shit. It doesn't matter, really, it doesn't just start. And just do it, because you want the book to exist, and so you need to go write it. And number three is the quote that I absolutely adore and I want it like tattooed everywhere. <laughs> I, that sentence, recently I've been thinking about it and I'm like, yeah, it is if not now, then when? And even though it's like the simplest sentence ever, it is so like true and it has so much force and meaning behind it in my eyes at least it's so true man like if not now then when you know like if you don't write it now when the hell are you gonna write it because we keep postponing everything and you know you want your dreams to come true and so why aren't you making them come true? Of course not everything is in our power, but when it comes to writing books, you have your laptop in your hands or on the table, you know, wherever. You have the power to turn on Word and just type some stuff. Why is everyone keep... You have the power to turn on that freaking device and type that shit. 
you can do that. You can absolutely do that. And I don't know how much time you have. I don't know how hard it is for you or whatever. But you can write the book. And no one's going to write it for you. And so you need to do it yourself. And no one's probably going to push you into it either. And so you have to sit down and actually write the book. Because if not now, then when are you going to do it? Stop saying that you're going to start next week. Stop saying all that trash. Just either do it now or never. I think that was brilliant is to either do something now or decide that it's not worth it. So ask yourself the question, would you prefer to write it now or never? And... You know, would you prefer to write that book even though it sucks right now, you really don't want to do it and just you're tired or whatever, and just write it now? Or would you rather never write it? You know, I feel like what would be so much more powerful than just postponing it and everything like all the time is like, no, don't ask yourself like if you're going to write it now or in five months, you know, that's not that bad. And it's like, yeah, whatever. But what if... All the things that you keep postponing then could never happen like what if you would only have the choice to either work on it now and make it happen or never make it happen you know like of course usually it doesn't work that way but imagine it did imagine that you could choose between now or never because a lot of the time we keep postponing it for so long that then it's too late and we don't have enough time left in our life or just enough opportunities to actually make it happen and how much would that break your heart? If the answer to that is it would absolutely rip your heart out then I would suggest you go pick now instead of never because you want the books to exist and you have the power to make that happen, but also you have the power to bail on it. And of course bailing on it is much easier, but trust me, I don't think you want to make the easy choice. And so you need to get your ass out of the couch or wherever you are and go get to writing. Yes, it's probably gonna suck and you're gonna have to edit it a bajillion times and you're gonna have to put a lot of work and effort into it and it's gonna take a while. But isn't it better to just give it all of that and make it happen than crying about never actually writing it? You know, I've wanted to write a book for a billion years and now I'm so inspired and motivated to write it all, but I keep just pushing it away and that's not how the book is going to write itself. You know, the book is not going to write itself. We have to make that happen and even though it might be written in our head, like that, no one else can really read it unless someone can read your mind, which would be kind of creepy, and I don't think that happens in this world. So go write the book, because either now or never, you know? So go write it now. So that's going to be it for this video. If you have any video requests, please leave them down below in the comments, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and maybe share it with your writer friends if you have some. Go write that book and have a brilliant day and see you soon in another video. Bye!